We do have a great matchup with uh, Pam McCormick and Nancy Herbs. Pam, of course, a great triathlete and has had uh, always has a great swim, bike, and run, but has not really been competitive in the ski scene. And she's about four minutes ahead of Nancy Herbst, who is an outstanding cross-country skier. So uh, Pam's going to have to try and limit the damage, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be at the finish line with a stopwatch and see how it all shakes out. Four and a half weeks after having baby number six, and I decided to hop in the pool and do quad race number one, the swim. And then in uh, the middle of the summer, I was feeling good. I thought, all right, I'll do the bike. All right. And then at the end of the summer, I was feeling really good, so I said, you yeah, know, I'll run. I, I, I can run. And then all of a sudden, I'm leading the thing, and I realize I have to learn how to cross country ski. I was so scared to sing. I was so scared to get up on that stage in 10th grade and sing my, you know, little song. Anybody who thinks that I really like getting up at 4.30 in the morning, that I really enjoy doing that. It's crazy, I, I, I don't like it. I mean, I go up to the very last day. I'll let you know exactly the date. It's 16th out of 17th, okay? And the kids said, Mama, you know these people coming here, you don't have no money. Mama, what you doing this here for? Mama, that's crazy. I said, it's gonna happen. I'd always, you know, get ready to go out and have to find an outfit and growing up and He's like, who's looking at you? Really? Like, people are, yeah, you know, people are paying this much attention to you. You just have to look inside and see what you're made up of and be proud of what you're made up of. And you gotta be you. You gotta be you. Um, because you're not gonna get anywhere lying or eventually you're gonna come out of yourself. So just save everybody, you know, the BS and be yourself. Yeah, athletically and even with kids, People, people will say that um, you know I'm, I'm naturally talented or I'm naturally gifted with patience. And I don't feel that way. One, two. I take little things from different people and I try to attain those traits that I think are admirable. When I was about 19 years old, I saw this saying: "Do one thing every day that scares you." And it really hit me. I was like, wow, you know, like that's huge. Because people just don't. People stay in their comfort zone. I recover from my fall. Now I'm staying ten free from I just want one hit song to be like, I did it. It's, ve it's a very hard lifestyle to, to try to achieve. I hope so much that this young girl makes it in this cutthroat industry. have um, very, a very good head on my shoulders. It's taken me a, a while to get it there and to get it in place, but I think it's starting to, you know, stand still. And I, I know that, you know, just like what I said before, being myself is the only way that's gonna get me anywhere. Her voice just is awesome. I mean, I can't wait to buy her CD. I just want to tell anybody that has a dream of any kind, um, you really, you don't really know what you're capable of until you do it, until you try it, until you put yourself in the situation. I started exercising and I started running and then there was a race and I thought, why not? And I did it and everyone started clapping and I was like, oh my God. like it was amazing. You do it, you start, you start with the first step and you go, and you keep going, and you keep going. Perseverance, because a lot of times we pray for things and we want it to happen immediately, and it doesn't. And I just 
keep going. And I just think, why not? The more awkward, scary, ridiculous situations you put yourself in, the better you're gonna be all around. Even with this, this quad coming up, I mean, this ski is just hilarious in my mind because I don't really know how to ski. <laughs> but uh, you know what, there's a tiny little bit of a chance there that I could do well. So why, why not take it? Eight weeks ago, I bought my first pair of cross-country skis. I've been learning as quickly as I can. So we're gonna see if, it, it'll, if it'll pay off or not. So just do it. First of all, Pamela is a machine and she's like, has all these kids and is just like so into it. I'm very proud of my mom. <laughs> And then Clara, I think, is just an angel. Like, she is just one of those people that is, she's just so truly inspiring. When I look back and I see the day has gone by and the people came in and everybody got their toys, that's my joy. That's my joy. And I really relish in that. And when I go home after the day is done and I'm totally exhausted, I look back, I say, thank God, we made it. We did what, you know, we were expected to do. That woman is just so selfless and so compassionate to others and what others do not have. If I could get the house built that I wanted for the, for the have this huge place where I could have all these children in there and take care of them and see that there is no harm coming to them. For all the bad that has happened to her, you know, she has turned it around and, and, and didn't lose herself. That would be my ultimate dream come true. My parents are such great people and they have, um, just by their example alone, they've taught me just how to be a good person. Just being nice to people, being genuinely nice, there's nothing wrong with smiling at someone because you'll get a smile back and a lot of times people are surprised. Really treat people the way you want to be treated, no matter how they're treating you, because at the end of the day, you'll feel better about yourself. You know, if somebody's mean to me and I'm mean to them back, I, I just feel bad. And when you allow people to give what they want from you, their heart, I think that's the great joy of giving and receiving. Surround yourself with good, spirited people. <laughs> Look at these trees. Somebody Look. else. Somebody else. Look at all these trees. Love comes in two shades: pecan, tan, and white. <laughs> you value your kids. You value your parents. You respect them. You do your best for them. I mean, I've grown up with my dad hugging and kissing me. North Face hugs. That's what Dad is known for. Big North Face hugs. My mom, you know, doing, you know, whatever it, I need. It's so important to a family, I think, to have a good relationship between a mother and a father. Miss Howard, how, how do you like your new house? Yeah. If the mother and father are, are at peace with each other and get along, you see that in the kids. High five. High five, Gracie. Oh, yeah, good girl. I couldn't do anything with without his support or his or his love or his friendship and it is so fascinating they are just they're very close with their dad they love spending time with him he you know he loves spending time with them of course and then with Matthew our son um, they're the boys I mean I think there was one time this I don't know if you remember this about five weeks ago um, all six girls in the in the house for crying <laughs> at the same time. So Matthew and little Matt just took off. They just, I think you said, come on. Well, and the boys are leaving. <laughs> Follow your heart, 
wherever it takes you and be happy. Life is brief and very fragile and only loan to us for a while. Wake up every morning with the thought that something wonderful is about to happen. And I wish I did, but I don't, but I should. <laughs> well, my mother is going in for surgery on her pancreas. She has a cyst. I'll, I'll never forget, I did the Edinburgh Triathlon wondering, wondering what was going to happen with my father. And I keep on praying that she stay with us as long as she can. Because she's, uh, she supports me. And I support her. Here is my song for the asking. Ask me and I'll play. Life is a miracle. Ah! Yes! Yes! And it's the ultimate gift. So sweetly I'll make you smile. She's smiling. Lindsay, sing us a song. Yeah. Sing us a song. <laughs> Here is my tune. For the taken. Stand your ground for what you want, what you believe in, no matter what the cost. Love everyone that's brought into your life, because they're brought into your life for a reason. I try to get people not to dwell on their illness, to be that it's a part of life. Oh my life. I look at her and I say, if she believes and she can go on like this here, I know I can too. Thinking it over, I've been sad. Thinking it over, I'd be more than glad to change my ways. It is just astounding what oh, valuing yes, life can do and how it trickles down throughout your life. He likes no mistakes. Sometimes he's trying us, he's testing us ask that we have to go I through these phases for way. testing and to be a better person than we are. All the love that I hold inside Realize a dream and go after it. You know, I, I'm about finished with it.